Yeah. I think what you two are doing is phenomenal. I give you a standing ovation. Well, it let's is, get it done. It's necessary. It's, yeah, it's, it's necessary. Hmm. Let's let's make it happen because yeah. Gregory. They won't listen to women. They're not going to listen to us. They'll listen to the men. Well, pitifully. Yeah. Well, no, I, they'll listen to a number of followers. When we, as I said, when we get twenty, thirty thousand people following this because we're all doing it outside our actual jobs you're doing it outside your actual job so it's it's an investment in time but once we get that critical point then all of a sudden the worst offenders will be outed the people that are getting blocked a lot will be will be able to exercise leverage which is what i'm about about changing things so Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And this is the second of our recordings for our hashtag LinkedIn Me Too movement. This movement began because a connection of mine told me about messages that she was getting in our recording tomorrow. I'll read out one of these message chains. It's happening a lot, but unfortunately, the ladies, the women on LinkedIn have... Um, tuned out the noise and accepted it and it is not acceptable and our intention is that the more people that follow this page the more of you that you can recommend it to your friends that you can tag yourself in or tag others in to comments and replies on this page what i want and what we want is that when we get 20,000 30,000 people then we can go to linkedin and say hey we want you to do something about this situation so today we're joined obviously uh, here with Gregory, but our prized guest is social media influencer Rachel Beck, um, who is incredible. We've spoken and we're going to be doing a podcast, but she has many perspectives on this issue. So turning to you, Rachel, um, I think the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to personalize you because someone making inappropriate, suggestive, sexual, or violent communication has dehumanized you. So tell us about what it is and how your art comes out and what you, what you are as a mind, as a consciousness. Well, thank you so much for that beautiful introduction. Hello, Gregory. <laughs> it's good, Hello, to good to see you. I wanted to acknowledge my dear friend who I've known for a long time. Um, it's a problem. It's a huge problem. I'm going to say this right now. Connect with both these men. They are true, true gentlemen. And when you are a gentleman on this platform, opportunities come your way. If you're not, the doors close. It's as simple as that. Um, I've been dealing with this for a long time, even up to uh, last two weeks. I've gotten some of the most disgusting comments ever. Like I can't, I can't even repeat them on here because it's inappropriate. Um, and yes, I block, I block them, I delete them. I will not have them around my network because I'm trying to give my network positivity bubble. I'm trying to keep them in. It's not okay. It's really not okay. We have to deal with this outside of our digital space. You know, we have to deal with this when we walk the streets or we're showing up on a job site or wherever we're going. So the fact that like our work and this is our virtual office and it, it has been, we shouldn't have to deal with it here. Mm -hmm. If there was an HR department, <laughs> how to, it would be, okay, you need to go to that office. <laughs> and you know, I'm gonna say this for both genders um, because I have a lot of male friends too, very big influencers who, are tired of it too from the other side of it. I want to address that, that have come to me personally and said, I can't take it anymore. Mm. Oh, this just needs to stop. So it really does go both ways because there are a lot of males who are dealing with the same issue. I would never help, help somebody <laughs> that sexually harass me. I'm definitely not going to go, oh, Gregory, let me introduce you to this kind of person. <laughs> right. <laughs> Or give, oh, Jonathan, let me refer you out to this person. That is not how it works on this platform. Let me make it very, very, very clear. Mm. It's not how it works. The way it works is 
you network, you build the friendships, opportunities come, doors open up for you. The only one that can close a door for you on this platform is yourself. Choose wisely. And let me say this, women on this platform are extremely intelligent people. And this is what some people are missing or not understanding. We are smart enough now to screenshot your comment and share it with people. So that's up to you. If you want it dropped on a post and everybody sees that it's you. That's what it's come down to. There are men on this platform and there have been men on this platform who stand up for women that have a zero tolerance or this type of behavior. I feel very strongly about this. You should. No, I mean, yes. quite quite so. I mean, the thing is that, so uh, tomorrow I'll read a bit out from a screenshot that a colleague has sent me, but um, depending on, on how you feel, there's no, I don't have a, a censorship for for swear words or for behavior or for, or for speech. Would you be prepared to, because this is the whole thing. You're an influencer with thousands and thousands of, 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 as you say, doors and opportunities and connections and collaborations that build from the person that you are. And yet, something you told me first time we spoke is inconceivable it's so incongruent those two things is there an example you're prepared to share yes and i'm thinking and can i add something because it's really important for people to hear <laughs> our families are in our network i've got aunts uncles you know a brother i my father and my mother or you know my father's in my network I mean, this is reality. I have cousins who pop up every day and you have no idea whose family is connected to what or how a family can open doors for you. Mm -hmm. So when you're insulting us, our fathers see this, our brothers see this, because I've had conversations with them, you know, offline when we're having dinner or something. My aunt and uncle see this. We are somebody's family member. Mm -hmm. Remember that, please, please, Remember that we are someone's daughter. I am someone's sister. I am somebody's niece. I am someone's best friend. That's who we are. We are real people connected to these people that are inside their network. So when like someone tests me and goes, oh my God, I can't believe someone just wrote that about it. And I delete it and block it. So remember, not only are you hurting me or any other women or male on this platform, you are hurting our families. Do you know?